Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome back to my channel. I am the Cinema Sewist, and on this channel, I'm trying to create a cinematic wardrobe utilizing a little bit of creativity and a whole lot of dedication. Now, today we're doing something a little bit different because this is not a Cinemax video. This is not a Vogue video. Instead, this is my sewing plans for this month video because I thought I should give you a little bit more content and a little bit more of what I'm doing because usually I only post my cinemakes and in fairness those are usually very elaborate projects which means that it looks like I'm only doing these which probably would be better for my closet if I only did cinemakes I'm making a lot more evidence of this could also be what you see right here. This is my latest make, um, the school uniform from Gertie's Patreon charm patterns. This year she has a school theme and in January she came out with the school uniform. I can stand up for a second, but you will only see pretty much my waistline. But the thing has pockets, button down skirt, I'm gonna show a couple of pictures so you can see better. But yeah, that is the make that I have recently finished. This was, yeah, it was after finishing the Persephone, which kind of took a toll on me when I'm being honest, this was a massive project. And so I wanted to first do a couple of other things before I start with the first scene make the first official Cena make for this year, which would be part of the Make 9, but that's coming soon. In the meantime, I would like to share with you what I'm trying to sew in March. Now there's a caveat to it because I would probably have less time for sewing in March and in April than I already have, which is very low. <laughs> so it might be even lower and I still have plans and I'm trying to get through them. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm just going to show you and talk you through what I'm planning to make in March. Alrighty. So the first project that I have for this month is actually the one that I'm currently working on right now. It is on the mannequin, but I have a little bit of leftover fabric that I can show you. This is a John Calder cotton sateen that I bought on Minerva.com. It's this print right here. It's very beautiful, very spring, very much, yes, here comes spring. And I had two meters of this and I was able to cut out the combination of the Gerties. It's again, Gerties charm patterns. The Gerties Barbara bodice, it's not the Barbie, it's the Barbara bodice with the Wanda pencil skirt combined as a dress. And I made that combination before. I can show you a picture here and I made it in the baby pink version so it looked even more like a Barbie dress. But I like that version. And so I thought this would be perfect for this print. I was thinking, usually I'm, I feel very meh about having so much fabric left. I mean, it is good that I can show you right now the fabric because the rest is uh, in pieces right now on the mannequin. But I usually don't like to have this much leftover fabric. I would guesstimate that it's around 80 centimeters in length and almost the full width. And so I got thinking, what can I do with this one? What can I do with this one? It's not enough, I believe, for a top with sleeves. But then I was thinking, how about making a waistcoat? So my plan is I will make a waistcoat out of this. And if I don't have enough, because I have a blue silk dupioni, which matches this background color uh, that I would then make the back piece 
just out of the two peony and the rest out of this and then make a shirt from a fabric that I have from my stash uh, a fabric that my dear mother had bought for me I think when I was a kid to make also a shirt so there is not that much fabric that I have of this but it is super cute I'm gonna completely unfold it so you can see it has like little embroidered dots in mainly the colors of this fabric and so I was thinking there is a McCall's pattern and I'm going to show the envelope because I don't know the number because I haven't really dug out the pattern yet it has a Peter Pan color, which was trending like two years ago. I think it's still on trend enough. I always wanted to make that shirt. And now I'm like, if I can wing it to get it out of this, that would be super cool. And then have this as a waistcoat on top of it. And then I would also make probably because as I was talking about the Dupioni, I would probably make trousers and a jacket to give this a full look but you could even wear these two like with a pair of jeans and call it a day in my opinion so that is project number two i guess after the first dress now i have another one another john caldo fabric this one was kindly sponsored by minerva um in exchange for content and i'm fairly late not super late but fairly late yeah anyway i i'm slacking a little but there's reasons for it so anyway minerva kindly gifted me this fabric which i'm going to show you right now not sure how i think this is upside down there are some up some are down but i think the majority should be this way around it is a black and red and i think it's also a sateen or something it has stretch which is great and i got three and a half meters not yards but 3.5 meters of this one and this is going to be another gertie pattern I'm, I'm clearly on a roll when it comes to gertie's patterns this is going to be the maria dress with the lantern sleeves and the pencil skirt I do enjoy a good pencil skirt, even though I made this with the uh, skirt, which is a super wide skirt. It even has like box pleats and everything. So there's a lot of width there. But generally, I prefer a good pencil skirt. So that's what that is going to be. And three and a half meters should be plenty to make that a reality. So this one is also mandatory, it has to be done this month. I might do this first before I'm going with the waistcoat and, and the shirt because that's not mandatory. This one is. So this might be the one after the other dress. Two dresses. Okay. Next up, I have a couple of knit projects. I need some new, I would say sleepwear and loungewear but since we are also going into summer here in Miami it has to be light so there is not much room for excessive sleeves and jackets and all of that stuff that you usually have when you have a cuddly pajama what I do enjoy is a good organic cotton spandex from organic cotton knit not a spandex it's a knit from spoonflower so every once in a while i go to spoonflower and then i get lost in all the designs that they have i'm going to link down their page in the description in case you've never gone and checked out spoonflower be warned in advance this might be a rabbit hole that is hard to come out of regardless I have purchased a couple of prints. I think it was 
there was a sale. I think there was a 30% off sale. They have that every once in a while. Mainly, oh yeah, it was the Black Friday sale. And so I got a couple of prints and one of them was this one. Little yoga Siamese cats. Because yes, cats and yoga, that's my jam. And I am going to make a little two piece for summer, which is going to be the top is going to be the Tonika bralette. I think it's by Madeline. Uh, and it's a free pattern. Again, I will put it in the description down below. And another free pattern is for the shorts from Friday Pattern Company. You can choose to donate a little bit for the pattern, which I did, or you can get it entirely for free. So technically, this combination that I'm making out of this, you could make without having to spend any money on patterns, which is great. This would be then my trial version, see how it goes. I got a couple of other prints that would follow suit then, and you're probably going to see them right here on this channel. But yeah, Spoonflower, it's a dangerous website. Two more things that I'm planning for this month, and it's already way too much. I already know this. I want to make another Sirocco jumpsuit because I love these. They are so comfortable, especially when you're traveling. But also also grocery shopping. They're so great. You're, you're dressed and you're, you're just doing your grocery shopping. I remember with yeah, one of them, one of the Sirocco jumpsuits, I, I got a few compliments actually <laughs> in in the supermarket uh, because they just look chic if you add a nice belt to the to the waistline, like a stretch belt, broad one, um, you just you just look very stylish. So I have one more viscose jersey left from Lady McElroy, it's this one. It's got elephants, Indian elephants, like almost like wedding ceremony elephants. But yeah, I have enough of this because I did the one with the cats before and that was the same yardage. I don't even know how much I have of this. Probably two meters. I probably bought two. And it's a quick and easy sew, and I need some space in my <laughs> in my stash, so this one has to go, and it's gonna be a Sirocco. I think that's fair enough to quickly sew up. Finally, one more thing. So this is going to be another of those lounge training sets um i need to think of the pattern name i think it's the joanne must be the joanne i made the joanne pants before this is a pattern by vicky sos as you folks know i i sew a lot with vicky sos and i made it out of a stretch Velvetish, yeah, like a Nikki stretch material. Anyway, I ordered this from, I forgot the name of the website, but the woman had panels with, <laughs> with scenes from the movie Dirty Dancing, which is a guilty pleasure movie of mine, I admit. I can watch this movie over and over. It's stupid. I don't care. It's a good movie. And I ordered this because she had a sale where she was selling essentially everything for super cheap. I think she just wants to get rid of sock. And I bought this knit and thought it would be like a spandex, but I misread that it said squishy and 
so this is like the velveteen no not velveteen but like the stretch knit velvet type of stuff that i used up recently for one of the joanne pants so i'm making another joanne pants out of this this is quite heavy this is going to be super floofy and pretty warm probably way too warm for florida but what do you know yes i'm also thinking about having a bralette again the tonica bralette which yes that would mean i have patrick swayze on my boobs that's something i guess but oh well yes well there's that fabric and then i'm gonna make a matching jacket there is a new look pattern again i need to show it because yeah i have it somewhere in my stash i need to find it first but from for that one i would do the back panel in one of those panels because i have the panel i've bought another one i've i i did make one hoodie with one of the panels you can see here now i bought a second panel just this one all the way down uh, you can see yep and that would be then the the back piece and then from the squishy material the rest i think and i have some ribbing in neon pink that i will probably utilize even though it doesn't quite match but at this point i'm also like i need to get rid of stuff instead of keep on buying new ones new things so there's there's that so this is three yards there's so much this is going to be plenty I'm, i might even get another leggings out of this i don't know if i want leggings because this feels heavy you probably cannot run in this. This is purely going to be a lounge suit, which I appreciate having a good lounge suit every once in a while. Why not? Wrestling some fabric. Yes. And with that, my March plans are complete and excessive and we'll see how it goes. So if you want to see the progress, you want to know how this ends make sure to subscribe so you get notified whenever i put up a new video if you like this give me a thumbs up i appreciate a little bit of love on this and you can also comment what you're curious to see or if you have other ideas particularly on this one but yeah i am um, curious and excited and a little overwhelmed to make all of these things in March. We'll see how it goes. I'll report back later. On that sense, I'm probably going to say, despite it's not being a Cinemake, that's a wrap. I'll see you all very soon.